doing everyone? Scott here and this is another CD and vinyl update. Um, not got a huge amount to show you this week but as usual I'll start with the CDs and the first one I'll show you is Sabotage and their 1993 release Edge of Thorns. This is actually the remaster from 2010 which comes on a digipack with this little booklet here. A really good hard progressive metal um, which I just absolutely love. This is the last album to feature Chris Oliva on uh, lead guitar. I think he died a couple of months after the release of this album. So um, that was that one. Uh, next up is a classic from Bon Jovi and their self-titled debut from 1984. And this is really good. I mean, it's not slippery when wet or in New Jersey, but it's still got a, a really like solid set of tracks on it, uh, especially the one everybody knows, which is Runaway. Um, a lot, I, th I do think it's a lot more poppy than um, their later releases, but still, um, this one. Uh, finishes my collection for the 80s and I think I'm quite happy with that. I've now got all all the 80s albums now so um, that was a good pick up for me. Uh, next up from 2013 I have White Wizard and The Devil's Cut. This is the new wave of traditional heavy metal and this is this is brilliant. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up more White Wizard in the future. Um, just good melodic, just Catches just catches your ear as soon as you put it on. Um, a real good mix between, I'd say, like Iron Maiden and Halloween. Um, just really, really good stuff. Uh, well, seeing as Halloween's coming up, and I didn't actually do this on purpose, I picked up Iced Earth and Horror Show. Um, really good stuff, and... As you can probably guess, the theme around the whole album is horror, Halloween, and with songs like Wolf, Damien, Ghost of Freedom, uh, Jekyll and Hyde, Transylvania, Frankenstein, um, it's all about the, the horror theme, which is brilliant. I'm gonna definitely going to pick up some more Iced Earth as well. And the last CD I'm going to show you is from 1987, and it's White Lion's Pride. Um, just a classic. Um, the vocals on this are amazing. I love Mike Tramp, um, the, the Mike Tramp's vocals on this. Uh, with songs like Hungry, Wait and When the Children Cry. I think those will be the, the most popular songs on this album. But really, really great stuff. Uh, next up for vinyl, I have Y&T with In Rock We Trust. I think this was their sixth album. I didn't actually realise it had been going on like in the late 70s. I thought they were more of a, a mid 80s band but um, yeah this is our sixth album. Um, I'll definitely be picking up more of their earlier stuff. I think albums like Mean Streak um, all come before this one so um, but this is a really really great album and I got this in pretty good condition um, and it just comes in the, the standard sleeve. So that's the first vinyl. Uh, second, we have Winger. Um, and this is their debut from 1988 with the songs 17 and their ballad was Heading for a Heartbreak, Headed for a Heartbreak, um, which are really, really decent songs. And the inside, you've just got the lyric sleeve. And the last one I'm going to show you is a new album from, well, 2016, and it's um, Grim Reaper and Walking in the Shadows, which is absolutely fantastic. I think this is their first album since 1987. Um, I think um, I think Steve Grimmett was singing for Onslaught. Yeah, so this is the front, got the back there, and it's the double LP gatefold with lyrics and band picture inside. 
and it also comes on this red and white splatter disc. You can see the labels there. Custom labels. Which I think are really cool. So that's that. That's my uh, update for this week. Um, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.